What's going on guys? We got another mail time and it's actually replaced this old little boom mic stand arm thing, whatever you want to call it, we're replacing it. So the reason for replacing is, well, this mic is a lot heavier and well, it doesn't hold it. Not to mention, you see that little crack right there? Well, it also doesn't tighten my mic anymore because, well, it can't. So to replace it, we got the blue, which I didn't know blue was also owned by Logitech. I don't know, maybe I'm just behind the eight ball on that one. This here is the blue compass and it has a much different design than this one here. This design here is pretty common. Um, I don't know what you even call it, but it's like two tubes. This one here only has one big one that I'm hoping is a lot stronger. I can tell you right now, they didn't go light on the tape, so make sure you guys have like a knife or scissors or something to cut all this tape off, because it's crazy. This is what it looks like in the box. Looks like we got all the pieces together. I can already tell you the design. Now you gotta remember, this was $100 compared to probably like $35 on Amazon. This right here, is tough like i'm pulling pretty hard and it's got a lot of tension which i like similar to my old one it also will just clamp right onto my desk so this little reducer piece actually got stuck in there so i had to go get a flathead and it came right out but that normally would go right on there and some other mics might have that kind of thread pattern but this one because an xlr had this little um reducer i guess you can call it okay so one thing i'm already noticing look how long this thing is absolutely unbelievable also another great design here because the swivel points actually on the top and not the bottom on the old mount i always had the problem of basically i couldn't rotate it because it would be hitting the table or something like that man i left that dusty kudoki and i also believe this mic came with a uh, or i'm um, excuse me this arm came with um the ability to be able to tuck the wires through um but i think we might have to keep the microphone over the top on this one might have to change the placement a little bit but we'll get there does this also rotate it doesn't i don't think i just keep it a little loose not bad so it's very adjustable you have one two and then three right back there adjustable points to get your mic in that perfect spot i kind of recommend maybe even putting this behind and over because of how long this arm is so one thing I noticed, it doesn't really like to do that like down and then up angle. That's how I used to have my mic, but that's okay. Up and over, it seems to work really good with this. We're gonna hook up the XLR cable right now and it just goes right over there to the little red box. Okay, so I figured it out. I knew this groove is where you put the wire in, but to get it out, all you gotta do is kind of like flip these little tabs up and it makes it really easy to get that cable right in there. That was really so effortless and it looks so good. Well guys, obviously I don't know the durability of this because I just got it. So I'll probably do a little follow-up review in the future. But as of right now, the structure and the integrity, what it's made out of is way better than what you get on Amazon for 30 bucks. And I do like this, I wanna call it like a monotube design. I don't know if that's really what you would call it, but the two piping to me just isn't strong enough to hold these bigger XLR mics. And this one's the podcast mic. This is actually the smaller Shure. So I can only imagine with the bigger one, this heavy duty arm is definitely gonna uh, stand up to the job. This arm here is in my bio right now, guys. You can check it out on my Amazon list. It actually comes with the shock mount. So instead of being $99 or in the $90 range, it's actually 134 with the shock mount. I don't have the shock mount, but if you guys want it, it's there. 